Hey guys, welcome to a Cascade Gaming Path of Exile video. You guys know the rules by now. No guides, no walkthroughs, no wikis, no Reddit, no Google, no nothing. Just the advice from the community. That is you. So basically, I am the character on screen. You guys are the players. You are directing me and giving me absolutely wonderful advice in how to play this game. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to everyone who has commented so far um you have no idea how much uh your your comments actually mean to me um like i just i love literally waking up and just seeing all of these notifications that people are just wanting to give some help um giving me feedback just wanting to say hi it's um yeah it means a lot it's so you know thank you guys you know who you are um i'll probably end up doing a shout out at the end of the video i might uh you know do a little bit little bit of a tag for everyone just to just to say thank you um and yeah just i love you guys so much so thank you um now that all the gushy emotionally stuff is out of the way we are going to do safe and sound so we're going to search for the dread thicket and do the root of the problem so it looks like the the little vile cave that we found before that we couldn't get into um is where we need to go so i don't know if i actually kept that in the video with the bandits i don't think i did but i found it by one of the bandit camps so anyway off we go to the dread thicket let's go via our waypoint uh the dread thicket so i think that's this one this one's right the root of the problem yes okay so we've got to poison the tree i don't like the idea of that i suppose we've got to do it anyway oh yeah let's let's see what our skitterbots can do go skitterbots go yes look at you guys Oh, Elemental Trinity. Wait, what's this? Slay an enemy that is si simultaneously ignited, shocked, and... Um, on... And cold. Oh, that's cool! That was, that was a nice surprise! Oh, we've got a little quest over here. Oh, I can't believe... So, thank you for the tip on the skitterbots. Oh my god! How long do they last for? I don't know, but I love them. I love them. I will have to figure out a name for them because I can't just call them my skitterbots. Like, they're going to have to have names. We'll think of names in the future. Look at them go! They're just like, F you enemies. Oh my god, I love them so much. Pets! Pets! All right. Okay, so I just had to take a small intermission. So we've got our tree roots. Here we are. Let's go stabby stab them. So we're entering the Val Ruins. So I don't know if this is like something that I'm going to have to break up into two pieces or not. Oh, hang on. Grace period, I can't be damaged. Oh, why does that sound terrifying? Why are all of these things lighting up? Who the f Frick are these guys? Go skitterbots go! Ah! Serpentine construct, that's cool. Don't worry, I'm going back for that scroll. Alright. Skitterbots are straight in. Oh! Here we have Thunderslip. Welcome! Welcome to the Thunderdome. Well, I mean, it's not thunder, it's lightning, but uh, it's fire, but. You know what I mean. Alright, my two little skitterbots are still alive. Um, Alright, you guys are going to have to suggest some names for me because I really want to name them. Oh, 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 okay. There's multiple, uh, multiple commanders here. Let's get Dysentry the Undying, very nice. And a Stoic Guardian. We're picking up the grey. Because I know that that's a good thing. And, oh, we've got a Grand Life Flask as well. And a Superior Mana Flask. Sweet. Did 
So these guys have got constructs. I feel like we're on a bit more of an even playing field now because I have constructs as well. And I know I'm not supposed to do a full clear because it's like I'm leveling up way too fast. But I kind of want to do a full clear. Like, this place seems interesting as. Okay, let's, let's wander down and see what other trouble we can get into. Lots of trouble. Wait, where are my skitterbots? Come back. Do they only last for a certain period of time or do they just take too much damage and then they die? Um, yes, I know I know that I need to use flame wall some more. Oh, consecrated ground, consecrated ground. So that's from the, that's from the totem. So summon skitterbots and herald of ash. So how long does that last? Like four seconds, okay. Sorry, I'm just, I'm still getting, I'm just still getting used to, used to these. Calling one, no. Ah, uh, excuse me? How rude do you guys want to be? Iron Scepter? Do you know? I'm, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm just, it's taking me a little longer to pick things up because of... And I'm, I'm blaming this on my short-term memory loss. It's taking me a little bit longer to pick things up than I than it normally would. Um, but I know that you guys are here to help me, so I, I don't feel quite as terrified playing this game when I like have basically no idea what I'm doing. Ah, uh, ooh, a gold ring. I've not seen a gold ring before. Um, and I can't level up because I need to reach level 27. So I am at level 26. So I think we'll, I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's, let's go, 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 move. Go Casco, go Skitterbots, go! Yes. You guys though. I feel like I'm going to have to come back and hit that bonfire soon. Superior War Sword. I don't need to pick that up because it's not like super duper. And oh, Quartz Brute. Okay, let's get in here. Yeah. Oh, all sorts of goodies. I'm probably hurt by that stuff on the by that debuff thing on the ground. I just need, I guess I need to move. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. It's like, move, move your ass, Cass, move your ass. Come on. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm having so much fun. Uh, I'm still a little bit, yeah, congested, like I said, but um, this is great. Uh, honestly, it's it's been so long since I had so much fun in an ARPG. Don't get me wrong, Diablo Four I love, um, but yeah, this is this is fantastic. This is just this is on a whole nother level. All right, so Scroll of Wisdom that was worth doing the adventure around for, because then I can save my armors, scraps, and blacksmith's whetstones. See. I'm I'm remembering stuff. I, I know I know things sometimes. Aha. Alright, so I'm guessing that's like my my objective. So let's just kill a few more of these dudes and then go up and hit this corruption altar. Okay. This might end up being two videos, I don't know. Shall we hit the corruption altar? Yes, let's hit, let's redo our little buddies. So, ah, oh, so maybe I accidentally hit the W instead of doing that, okay. Let's hit the corruption altar and see what fuckery unfolds. Oh, oh, oh. 
Hello, corrupts an item, modifying it unpredictably. All right. Let's identify this gold ring and put it in there. Havoc Coil, okay. So 15% increased rarity, extra physical damage, extra fire damage, or adds, fi adds physical damage and adds fire damage. I'm paying attention, you guys told me that the wording of what they say is really important. Plus 12% increased cast speed, plus 33 to maximum life, plus 15% increased mana regenerate, gain, gain three life per enemy killed. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab that. So let's replace it with, let's replace it with the Wrath Eye. I don't know if that's the right choice, but I'm liking the choice that we just made. We'll see if it was if it was a good choice in the long run. Pizza. Increase spell damage by a little bit more than what we've got. Okay. Increase lightning damage, but we don't really need that. But we can re-roll stuff. I think. Okay, so extra crit for spells, extra maximum energy shield. You told me energy shield is good. 12% increased energy shield. Extra lightning resistance, increased on block resistance. Ooh. I think that's better. Um, I'm putting arcane surge support in here. It's not actually linked to summon skitterbots, and I don't know if they will... I'll have to have a look and see if that's worth swapping, but I'm going to swap that over because I think that that, I think they look good. Um, all right. So I can't use that because I don't have the dex rating. See, pay I'm paying attention. I'm, I'm trying you guys. I'm, I'm trying, trying my best to not be a complete numpty. Ah, one of my friends is playing Rust. I've never played that game. Have you guys played that game before? Um, shout out in the comments if it's worth playing. I could always ask my friend, but like, how often do you really trust your friends? I'm, I'm teasing, by the way. If you watch, if you watch this, Jamez. Um, yes, yes, oh, I am a golden god. <laughs> Being over level definitely doesn't help, uh, doesn't hurt my class power fantasy. So that's a big thing for me. I don't know if, how you guys feel about it. Oh, ancient seal. Let's click on that. Show the apex to Yina. What the frick? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Alright, so we've got to... We've got to show that... Alright, so we've got to show that to Yina. Oh, it looks like there's another big baddie over there. Let's go get him. Shale Crusher. See, look, I'm casting my stuff through the through the flame wall see i think i'm being smart about this i don't know like it's it's me it could be it could go either way let's open these chests see and i'm not picking everything up look at me being good although i am kind of doing a full clear so Sorry about that. Like, sorry, not sorry. I know that I was told that I shouldn't be picking everything up. Or I shouldn't be doing a full explore. I shouldn't be picking everything up. But not the not doing the full explore was more to, to the point of 
I'm leveling up too fast. Um, yeah, look, we cleared most of it, and I'm happy with that. Let me look at me leaving things unexplored. Oh, it feels weird. All right, so we're going to the northern forest. So that is the quest complete. All right, so we need to search the dread thicket for a hideout. So I'm wondering if there's a, if we can find a waypoint here somewhere. Ugh. So these spiders don't seem as creepy as the other ones now. What the frick is that? Looks like a dung beetle. Night Adder. Gross. And I don't actually mind bugs, okay? Like, bugs, moths, like, even roaches, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm so fine with that. It's just spiders. Oh, but for transmutation. Alright, we can level up the faster casting. Yes, the faster casting, let's go. Alright, into the dread thicket for Helena. Alright, so we're looking for a hideout for our friend Helena to get away from the evil people in black. Oh, there's a thing over here. <gasps> rituals! I'm like literally so excited for these rituals and stuff. Skeletal Spriggan. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, Cruel Tusks. Ah, oh, there's another gold ring. Okay, Violet Ritual Altar. Let's go. Let's go, son. Pain Totem. I can handle that. I can handle lots of things now. From your advice. Is that it? Or are there more things to, to burninate and destroy? Alright, sweet. Let's have a look at the rewards. Alright. Nice. Okay, let's keep going. So these vile rituals. Maybe maybe the rituals will go with... Well, I'll have to put these rituals with, with Helena's quest, obviously. But this is really interesting. Skitterbots and I are having a good time. Alright. Is there a little hidey hole for Helena here somewhere, please? I have a friend who needs, who is in need of a hideout to be protected from baddies. Ooh. Hello, hello. Oh, we leveled up. Uh, can I throw that skill point in before we get there? Yes, I can. Go. Burning damage multiplier. Yes. Let's go, son. Let's go. Alright, nothing in the trunk. Skeleton spriggans. That's just that's just so interesting. What dark bite? Oh, he is very bitey, isn't he? Yeah, let's pick up the ring. It doesn't hurt to pick up the rings. They only take up one spot in the inventory. Oh, oh, there's a thing over there. There's a thing over there that's telling me stuff. Icon on the map is what I mean. I feel like that's where. We need to go. Okay, so. so. Let's try and find our way around here. I feel like this might be Helena's hideout. Ooh, okay. Yes, it's like a little encampment, so maybe this is the place. Lush hideout, here we go! Let's get in here! And here's Helena! Good to do a full clear. Oh, Helena, for you, my love, I can do anything. Two, two stone ring? I'm going to pick that up because I need to investigate what that is. I haven't seen a two stone ring before. Alright, so basically just aid in the frenzied. Okay. Yeah, so we just need to clear this place out for Helena, and then I think her quest will be sorted. Grim Ribs. 
There we go. Awesome. So it's clear. Let's level up that elemental proliferation support. I always get tongue-tied around the word pro proliferation. Alright. See, I do good things. Just all right. Go with courage. Greetings. Welcome to our new hideout, Exile. Okay. I'll start getting it set up. Thank you. Oh. Talk. Wait. Hang on. There's things here that I don't know that I don't understand. Ah. Oh. So it's it's like a player house. I'm gonna, like, just put a little stash over there. Do I, do I, like, need these mushroom clusters? Can I, like, reclaim? Okay, so reclaim all the, all the stuff, and then we've got our stash down, and that's it. That's all we need. Ah, and we can put NPCs in them? And share with Ina. She with Helena, a crafting bench? Let's put that down. Waypoint! Yes, right there. Oh, and we can put stuff in here. An astrolabe. That's, let's just put that down because it's cool. I want scattered papers. Icky, I don't want beastie things. Oh, there's like so much stuff. Stuff. I don't want corpses. We can put stuff down from the Chamber of Sins. Church. Coastal. Oh, we can put down some. Let's put down some coral. That's pretty. Uh, dead. Yeah, I don't want. To, don't really want to put dead things down. Flowers. Hey, that's nice. And petals. Let's put flowers and petals down oh that's so cute oh we can put out like a, st a, st a lion statue yeah let's put a lion statue like right in the corner there cool crystals dove Ooh. okay no i need to stop this because i will just keep going on this forever Oh, sweet. Okay, so now let's talk to Helena in the hideout. Helena? Can we, like, escape from editing mode? Okay, so I think that's editing mode is done. I've okay. I've the liberty of performing a few tests. There are a few magical modifications the Transmutia device can make that are safe every time. Uh... Try enhancing a piece of equipment now. Let's see if my results hold. Okay. All right. I've taken the liberty of journey well. All right. Oh, we can add prefixes and suffixes to items. Yes! Can we mess around with these boots? Okay, so they, they, they can't be done on a unique... Let's try our scepter, because I'm pretty stoked with our scepter. Okay, so that has no more space for more modifications. So we want something that doesn't have a heap of modifications on it. Um, does that have space for modification? Yes. All right, so let's add extra mana. And craft. Nice! Ah, oh, this is great. So this, like, this super reminds me of, um... The other game. What is it? Last Epoch. So, I think I'm going to be down with the crafting. I think I'll be okay with that. I could hardly hope for better results. Do note, the device needs special reagents to perform. Ooh. So not all uses will be so easy. 
Excellent. Goodbye. Go with courage. I will. Awesome. Okay. So, we have done the Helena quest and we've got our own like personal little hideaway, which is amazing. Got a little stash, which is just like our stash. Um, got, uh, I'm going to put volcanic fissure. I'm going to put it onto our item just so that we've kind of got it there. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, we've done Helena's quest and we've got our own little personal hideaway, which is so cool. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I love you all. This was really fun. And yeah, leave me, leave me like comments and whatever down below. If you like the video, like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Mwah, and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.